truck. We promise it is time to kick start our annual Father's Day special. That's right, and we've got the guys in already. We've got these wonderful dads in, and what we'll do now is that we'll get to know exactly who they are. That's right. And look at them, they're looking good. Uh, you guys are dolls up from, or you know what, I said dolls up, Ken's up. You guys are Ken's up <laughs> from Alpha Meal. So you look, you guys looking good. Mr. Lino, I like that. I like that. And Mr. Cambranes, of course, you know, you're looking good there. But let's get to meet these guys. We have got with us, firstly, uh, to, all the way to, at the corner, is Francis Lino. He's 72 years old. He was actually nominated by his stepdaughter. And this guy is a fisherman. Yeah, of course, widowed as well. Wife uh, died 16 years ago. Uh, met and married his wife when she was when she had four children. Now the youngest of which was only three at the time, had kidney uh, kidney disease and her sk uh, skin full of sores. It says here, she had a speech impediment and uh, a learning disability. But he stood there by their side, thick and thin. Later they had four more children, raised eight children. He kept up the relationship with all eight children, including the four that were not his biologically. Were not his biologically. Ladies and gentlemen, here is none other than Francis Lino. Good, Good morning. Good morning. 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's from Punta Gorda. Yes, so you have all the stats, yes. don't you? <laughs> all right, I'm going to move over to your side. So we have, of course, Peter Lacey. He's a well-known face around yeah, here. Everybody knows uh, Peter. Peter was nominated anonymous, anon anonymously, and uh, he's a well-known literacy provider and uh, director of Growing the Future Projects. It's an NGO which caters to primary school students, uh, and they provide remedial and prep classes th throughout the summer. Uh, you work with SCA as a PE instructor and the National Youth Cadet Corps as a PSE instructor. He's also a basketball commentator, but we're not talking about basketball this morning, <laughs> right? <laughs> An Doctor. aspiring politician <laughs> and a husband of almost 12 years and a father of one eight-year-old boy. Mm. Fright me, that's like, you know, I said 12 kids. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, um, Finally, we've got our third dad in with us. He is no, uh, no, um, no other than Mr. Carlos Cambrana Sr. He's 61 years old. He was actually nominated by his daughter. Uh, Mr. Carlos was a truck driver for many years, uh, father of three, married for 20 years. He got an infection in his eye that took his eyesight. His life changed and he became a stay-at-home dad. He cooks, he cleans. Uh, and does jobs around the house. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Carlos Cambranes Sr. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. And welcome. Thank you. You, look, you, wanted, you know what I love about you? You look confident and you look like you're ready for all these things. You ready? Yeah, yeah ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so did your, did your daughter tell you that she was going to nominate you? Uh, it was a, a surprise. Oh, okay. And what did you say when you found out? Um, I had to uh, ask my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and your wife is here, right? Yeah, she said, uh, go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, and I think, I think it would be a segue for you in terms of uh, always being at home, especially after losing your eyesight. Um, what's, what's the thought right now? You're actually on set, and uh, wh what are you thinking? What's going through your mind? It's a new venture for you. You have become a TV star now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, um, well, I, I, I feel happy. Yeah. A little um, interaction with people and yeah. on TV. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's an opportunity. Yeah, it is. It is. So, um, I just feel happy about it. And to talk about something you all know so well, being a father. Being a father, yes. Yeah. So we have a, a bunch of questions that we just want to ask in, in terms of getting to know you a bit more and understanding your perspective about fatherhood, mm -hmm. right? So yeah. we're going we're gonna to start off uh, with Peter over there. And I think, you know, to be clear, you say you only have one son, but I've always found that people who are educators have far more children than the ones they actually <laughs> parent yeah. um, because you're talking and interacting with kids all the time yes. and a lot of times you have to play that supportive role yes. and I want to ask you just uh, looking at what your view of fatherhood is is fatherhood the same as manhood um, you have to know how to juggle them both mm -hmm. um, but 
you have to let your children see the uh, sensitive side of you. Yeah. Because a lot of times, um, you know, growing up, men are taught to be macho. Mm -hmm. And they don't show that, um, that, that soft side to the, to the child and that could grow a, a resentment you know, between not only father and son, but it could be family members and, and, and like that, right? So mm -hmm. it, it's, it's a lot of times until we grow older, then our children yeah. that have already been damaged, if you want to see it to a certain extent, um, by the way you carry yourself when you are younger, then you have to start repairing that relationship. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, I, I grew up in, in, in something, um, you know, in that day. So when I when I became a father, I made sure that my son sees that soft side as we grow along. Yes, you're going to have that time when you have to be stern and you're going to have to put your 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 um, foot down and be that uh, that disciplinarian. But I feel that um, you know, one, once we get that idea or they get that idea that they can come to you. They can ask for advice and they can open up to you. That that, that is it, the most important thing, and you have to allow them to come how, in. How did you you adjust into tapping into the sensitivity that you wanted to have with your child? Um, from from the the, the uh, get go, um, his mother was sort of uh, <laughs> I would say caught off guard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ready, let's go. Mm -hmm. The child is here, and let's yeah. go. I have yeah. the, the, you know, the, the, there is no tomorrow if you if you want to see it. So we had we had to jump in it from from the from the get go, and um, you know, mm -hmm. we, it's just been one day at a time. Mm -hmm. um, I was more at home because I have more um, free time because of all my, my my schedule is. So I've yeah. been with him. I have been more of this day at home from from smaller wow. growing up. Yeah. And um, when I when I ran in 2012 for for Sitco, I had to be away, and then we start to see that um, that resentment. If you, if you want to see that that is not home, and yeah. you know he wants to, he doesn't want to listen because you're not there. And I didn't know how to how to react. Yeah. You know, so this time around, you know, going back into that arena, I'm, I'm telling him you have to go step by we're gonna go host to host together yeah. mm -hmm. you know so uh, you have to include your kids in everything like, yeah. that, that is the, the um, important part a, a quick question for me uh, and and the reason for for asking this question is because uh, I, one of the things I'm very very uh, hung on is that there are a lot of young families out there and because they are young families they are not probably brought up with the way of having to deal with hardship is hardship a good thing growing up uh, children um, Hardship is what you make it because there is a lot of families that are poor but they have values. Poor being poor and living in poverty is not an excuse to not have values. Not being able to teach your, your own kids the, the um, right way. But a lot of times when you see the, ch the child growing up in the right direction it's because the father is there. Yeah. It's the absence of the father, not necessarily the economic situation that makes the child grow up in the, in the right situation. All right. You know, so two, you know, a, a mother and a father, regardless of your socioeconomic background, is vital That's to a right child's right. Su success. All right. Yeah. And now, we, uh, we actually move on over to, let's get to Mr. Lino. Mr. Uh -huh. Lino, uh, can, you, can you tell us about your situation in terms of having to, well, you, you met your wife and she had four children already. And uh, with the disability, uh, tell us about your, your uh, relationship. Story. Yeah, your story. Did I start out, my brother, with my wife. I have a little brother. Mm -hmm. When I start with my little boys at home, you want to bind them in a way. Mm -hmm. Not to listen to your daddy. Yeah. So they do something for me. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I have to school them and, and teach them and so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Afterwards you come to realize this what I mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you got nominated, how did you feel? Uh, did you did you know that she was going to nominate you, your stepdaughter, or it was just out of left field? It just out of left field. So what made you want to be a part of this? I hear a chuckle. <laughs> I hear it. What made you want to be Lots here today? Lots of convincing. I've yeah. been here taking a walk along with her the other day. Yeah. All of a sudden, I, I show up to 
know? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do it. <laughs> now, Francis, tell us, you know, I, I think you have a unique story and I think that's probably why your, your stepdaughter nominated you. And it's a story I think other people can identify with. So you chose to become a father because you met a woman who already had children. Um, and I'm sure that means you loved her very much. Yes, very much. But what was it like going from someone who had no children to having four children? She never had one. Mm -hmm. okay, I am the one who tolerates her in a way. She finds a friend. Mm -hmm. She has come up with that, that four kids there. Mm -hmm. um, the father of the kids is away from but she, she, she's the only one yeah, yeah. who takes care but of But then her. you became dad. And what was that like? You, you, you now have, you not just have a wife, but you have four you children. Have four children. I sacrificed so hard for them, I mean. Yeah. Bring them by the way I want. Mm. And you got a son, you got another. Okay. Was the love, I mean, what, what, the so love was instant love with them? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Wow. Did you expect that? Yeah. Yeah. So what is it like for you being a dad? You know, you had the first four children when you got married to your wife and then you had four more. Yeah? What's 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 the thing that you love the most about being a father? You know why, mommy? I cooperate with the first one. Mm -hmm. I cooperate with the second one. I love all of them. But mm -hmm. we can unite together. Mm -hmm. To certain circumstances in a way because uh, they don't want to listen to their father, they want to listen to their mother, right? Mm -hmm. But I have a little problem with her. Just to bring the daddy and explain ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's what probably is. Wow. So you're the strict one. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I tried. Oh, uh, you tried. <laughs> oh, you mean some of them had you a little yes, weak? Yes, yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, and then, yeah. Mm -hmm. go we, we've got, we've got, um, well, well, we'll be getting to Mr. Carlos Cambranes in just a few, but I just want to, I just want to tell you, the, the audience that are, we, who just joining us is actually Vernerius, Vernerius Cho who is 45 years old. He was, he was actually nominated by his sister. So we're happy to have him here uh, in the BDF for 20 years, work as a chef as well, uh, as well, retiring in July, this July coming up. That's cool. The family lived in uh, Krikehuta in the Toledo district, and his dad moved to Belmopan to work and provided for them. Now, the dad took a, uh, a security job in Belmopan, and so, uh, you know, to pay, to, 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 so the, the pay was minimal. Ah, that's, 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 that's how it is nowadays stepped up to the plate and helped his mother take care of his siblings when his dad moved away to try to make life better for the family. At the age of 14, uh, yes. Verne Vernerius was a farmer and a hunter killing deers and armadillos and planting acres of corn and beans and rice as well to support the family. He eventually joined the BDF but continued to farm and take care of his family. And today, he has two sons, two girls as well, and he continues to support both of them. My buddy, wow. welcome and good morning. Yeah. Yes, good morning. Welcome um, to Open Your Eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. you're, you're super dad and super brother too, and, and super son, I'm sure, for your yes, mother. Right. And super farmer. <laughs> yes, right, right. Yeah. All right. So thank you for joining yeah. us. And, and uh, you know, I think you're jumping right into the middle of the conversation. And we were just going to talk to Carlos a bit. Carlos, tell me a bit about the transition for you. So you went from being the provider when you were working as a driver, and then you became a stay-at-home dad. What was that like for you? That was the difficult, yeah. worst difficult in my life. Yeah. For making a change like that. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the work that a, that a wife do is a lot different than a work a man do. Yeah. The, the wife look like she have more work than a man. Yeah. When I reach home, when I'm at work, I just rest and wait for my thing to eat. And she have to take care of the children. Well, I, I, help, I help her. Mm -hmm. But no, well, the change that we had now <clears throat> is that it was a difficult in the beginning. Yeah. yeah. But then, um, with her help, well, we come up until we, where we are right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a real challenge because um, <clears throat> to grow our children, she have to work. Mm -hmm. 
I have to be flexible yeah. because I, I'm battling with something and then I still have to take care of my I mean, yeah. advise my children and love them and see that they have everything, help my wife to um, <clears throat> keep the house clean, yeah. have food when they come from school because it, I've been cooking from they go to school, it's small. Mm -hmm. yeah. I cook until they gone to college. Uh, when they start, well, when afterwards, well, they, they start to cook and, mm -hmm. and they use the they work a little bit, <laughs> but um, one thing I would I would say, Jesus in my life yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah. He is the one that helped me to battle this. And on, not, not uh, only my eyes, mm -hmm. because I had a, a, not a, a, a um, sickness that the doctor told me $20,000, wow. I'll oper operate you. But in my mind, I said, it's cheaper to, to bury me. $20, <laughs> <laughs> $20 go to Chicago, I can find it. And my wife have to try make loans or something like that. And I tell my wife, no. I will put my trust in, in God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I get my miracle and make I get my twenty thousand dollars miracle. Wow. And from then, well I started battle with my eyes and I find something to do so I know I'm you know yeah. I, this in the, my mind doesn't distract me or because when when, when you lose your sight Sometimes I feel um, I feel like I lose everything, but You're helpless. Everything, feel helpless. and then um, well, thank God for His mercy and His love that yeah. He's with me all the time, and and that's why I I am I am battling until until now, no, no, the, yeah. the mm -hmm. situation. But then um, I feel happy because I have a real strong wife. Yeah, she encouraged me. Too. Yeah, she's right yeah. there. <laughs> Yeah. Carnelius, you made a lot of a lot of women happen when you said in the very beginning that raising children is a really hard job, yeah, yeah. Um, and and it seems easier to a lot of people. Uh, but when you first started, when you first took over the responsibility, and you're taking care of the house and taking care of the kids and feeding them and everything, and not going out to work every day, what was the one thing that made you say, "Man, I had no idea that it was this hard." What was the real challenge? Everything, everything, including everything that <clears throat> I, I, I find out what what is the work of a woman mm. when she stay home and when you when a man come and find this house clean and food and everything yeah. ready. Yeah. Uh, I re I find out what what is it too. They are their job, so man, I big up the woman. <laughs> and Francis, I see you shaking your head a lot. Why is that? You agree? Yeah. You had that same experience well, when your okay, wife yeah, passed? Yeah. Yeah. Well, so okay, so fair enough. yeah, yeah. So so when she, I mean, it, it was a major loss, I, I'm sure, when she passed away, and then you had to take up the full responsibility, full responsibility of the eight children. Yeah. yeah. What was that adjustment like for you? What was? It's for me, yes. Yeah. I think for myself, you know, sustain my family. Yeah. yeah. I sacrifice so hard for them yeah. to bring them up the which part they know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So let's move on over to Vern. Uh, Vern, you know, everybody has shared their story. We had your bio. Tell us about your, your story. Tell us about you and, and uh, your upbringing and what you've got now. Okay. Um, yeah, sorry for being a little bit late, but um, nevertheless, I didn't, I didn't make it. You're here. Yeah. We are happy yeah. you made We're it. We're happy yes. that you made it. Well, um, for me, being a dad, anybody could be a dad, but it takes somebody special to be one. Yeah, a father. And if you want to be a good dad, that you have to make sure that you are a good husband. Yeah. And great husband becomes great dad. Yeah. And and then after that that you know that responsibility has already um, is on your shoulder already. Yeah. So uh, you need to come up with a, a good mind that being a dad that has a lot of rules that it is expected of you. Yeah. And that started with the entire involving with the entire prenatal um, 
here and in Zoom, <laughs> you have to be well prepared. Yeah. Yeah. Because your expectation when you have your first child, it's very demanding. They need love, they need Care. a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, um, I believe that being a good dad has a lot of things to do. You have yeah. to have patience, you have to have love to them, you have to have discipline. Yeah. Yeah. And then, maybe in the end like that, if you continue from being from when they are a baby, yeah. going up to this time there, I do believe that in the end that they, it will play, um, play yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. That you know what, what, how, what a, a, a part of the love is. Yeah. Especially like when you, when you have to talk to them, taking care of them is not easy. Even if if, if it's only one child that you have, yeah. it is still it is still demanding. Speaking of demanding, yeah. I, I want to ask one yeah, question, because sure. you said something so important. You said to be a good dad, you have to be a good husband. Mm -hmm. And all the men wrong here shake their head. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's hard when you go from being just husband and wife mm. to being husband and father. Mm. How did you make sure, and any one of you can tell me, mm. that you also put in the time to be a good husband in addition to being a good wife? And why was that important to you? Well, um, I think that, to answer that question, I think that the both of us have to come together. Yes. Because that child wasn't only for me or only for mom, and that include the um, the works that a mother do, mm -hmm. that a father do, that it, the mother will not be only the one that will be taking care of the child. Yeah. The dad will have to go as well because being a mommy is not an easy job. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the dad plays a very, a very um, big role in yeah. taking care of that child because at many times they have mothers that they, that they don't have time for themselves. Um, the right day a father come yeah. and then when you have that child, you never know what your responsibility, but as I like, as I grew up, I've seen the ways how my mom raised me. Raised me. Yeah. It's not just that my mom taking care of me, taking care of my sisters and, and things. So my dad jump in and just volunteer in whatever ways, even if, if you have to cook, you have to wash, you have yeah. to do other things there. And because the wife, um, the mom needs a break for herself. Yeah, too. of course. Of and course. that is one of the most important thing. What I, what I, what I was a father that I have seen to myself. Yeah. yeah. But I want, I, I want, I want to ask you one final question. You did mention, you know, that you have to pay attention, that you have to help out. But you, you are a BDF soldier, yes. and you're, a, you're also a farmer. So you, being a BDF soldier, you have to be out and about. You have to be um, out for, for weeks upon weeks. How is that like for you, having to make that transition from uh, in the bushes or uh, at the base to being at home with the children? Well, um, that is that is very challenging. That's very challenging. And like me being in the army, army is a job that you say that works comes before pleasure. And I have a boss that I have to be there at certain time when I'm required to be. Yeah. And I was keeping away from home and being on the job. At times, my mind is still out there, and I think about my family, especially if with the first child that I have. I don't know if they're okay, what could happen. Wow! <laughs> so my mind, my mind is very between work and home. And home. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at any one time that I get this, the opportunity, sweet home I go because I want to see my baby, yeah, awesome. and that was like. The, for the first, first, first child, yeah. Yeah. and especially um, she's a she's a girl, and that is the queen for me. She's <laughs> a queen. She's my everything. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's always the story that I love to hear. The first time you held your first child, yeah. and the reality yeah. came to you that you are now a father. Take me back to that moment and tell me what went through your mind. Anybody. Anybody. Mr. Lino. When you held your first child, what, what went through your mind? Your first baby. My first baby. Yeah. I love my baby, man. I came him all around. <laughs> <laughs> I came him all around. Yeah. It was a good feeling. You remember yeah. that feeling? I remember it, man. Yeah. So then his mother went to school. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When he gave me a little trouble, I carry him to the school. <laughs> the nurse him, right? Yeah. Him, right? Oh, you take the baby yeah. if you want to watch at home. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? You remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, well I, in my mind, said my wife had my uh, my child in in her for nine months. I said, well, my turn now. <laughs> so, to 
take care of my, my baby. Yeah. And I enjoyed my baby mo the most I can. Yeah. And what was it like when you, it was your boy or girl? Girl. Oh, girl. Uh huh. Another weakness over here, right? Yeah, so here. You, when you held her for that first time. That was a feeling like. Oh man, it was, it was so emotional, so special, yeah. so happy. You know, what to do with her. Yeah. Your baby. Yeah. yeah. And what gone through your mind? <coughs> well, it says, um, uh, <clears throat> I will take care of her as much as I can, yeah. love her, mind her, yeah. and, and mom too, because, you know, because without a mom, we can't have a baby. Yeah, that's true. And it was really, really joyful. Happy, mm. happy. You, you, know, you know what, I, I, my cheeks are hurt. I smile too much on here, <laughs> just listening to all these nice things. Now, Peter, yeah. Let's, let's, yeah, let's get to you. What was that feeling like when you heard, bye, you know what, man, Peter, we're expecting a baby, and then when you held your child, what was that? Like? I was like, you know, when she said, um, I'm pregnant, I'm like, okay. You know, so, you know, so, <laughs> you know and, but, you know, she was sort of depressed, I guess, like, um, you know, our house wasn't finished. Like, women want things yeah. done a certain way, yeah, that's but, true. you know, that's but, true. you know, you have to deal with it uh, as, as it comes out. That, that's me, because I know nothing is never perfect. Yeah. You know, so you just have to be that person to steer the, 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 the um, ship. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to the delivery, um, you know, he, he, he was a bit late. We were expecting a, a September child, but he ended up coming October. And um, they had to induce her. So we were there for about, uh, about 12 hours. Wow. It, it was a long, and I, I was in there from beginning to end. Yeah. People, they say, you, you need some relief. And I'm like, no, no. get away, and this is my <laughs> moment. Go, you, you know, I, 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 I was furious at times, you know. And, you know, but um, I, I, I was there for the, from beginning to end. Um, definitely have to big up Nurse Diane, um, mm -hmm. one of the best uh, midwife in, in Belmopan. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody liked the private hospital, but uh, I have to big up Belmopan Hospital as well, you know. <laughs> you know, Western Regional take a, a lot of hits, you know, but I, I definitely have to big up the, the um, hospital, the nurses there did a, did a, did a good job. Um, but what was there for the, for the, for the whole um, thing, and we, uh, when the baby finally came out, like for, for me, you, you, you see movies and you see fathers trying to be in there, you see them faint, but when you're actually in there, yeah. I, I'm wondering, can I really withstand <laughs> this pressure? My head tight, 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 you know? Oh and, my God. But when the baby finally came out, we, I, I, I was the, the um, first to hold him. And you know it was it was definitely a, a good, good a good experience and from there is the the, the uh, journey began now. So he's there looking yeah. just like you see him come up and everything. <laughs> well for me um when um the, when I have the first child yeah. well um I'm not uh, I'm already uh, like 21, 22 years um mm -hmm. and I have I'm a I'm already in the BDF and mm -hmm. I have already seen life, how it goes and, and things. So. Mm -hmm. so at that age that when I have the first child, well, during all the, the months leading up to the eight months and things, so, I was, it was a good feeling to me that I have, I ex I'm expecting a baby, a, a baby, but I don't know if it's going to be a girl, right? Oh, you know, so at, at know many times that and you wanted a girl or a boy? Girl. Okay. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. So at many times, like in the B day, you, you have a rotation, you're going all over Belize to different um, camp, like yeah. Orange War, Kayo, Price Barracks, yeah. and, and PG. At many times, I would, uh, when I had to go home and things, so I, th I see things walking and walking. In, in the tongues or what, I see pretty clothes, nice clothes and things. Mm -hmm. well, I, I like them, I just like to see them, but yeah. I don't have none yet. Mm -hmm. So finally, what time come that we made it. Mm -hmm. But now, I know it will be tough for me. Yeah. Yeah. Because like I said earlier, between work and home now, that when, that time when the delivery was about to come uh -huh. and even though I was flexible in the job, but the time for me you now, and that was my first child, 
I would have wanted to witness that. Yeah. But I couldn't get the opportunity. I applied for my leave like two weeks before that. Prior but the that. time is not too accurate. Yeah. yeah. So mm-hmm. now like three, four days before the exact date come. Yeah, please somebody call my phone at that time then. In the Belize, in the Belize city, police duty was tight, <laughs> very demanding. Yes. I got a call. I hear my mom calling me. Now the time is up. I said, wow. I said, so I call my boss, talk to my boss, and then that I need a time for my for the board of my child. I yeah. need to. Mm-hmm. We tried, we tried, but the duties was tight. Yeah. yeah. Finally, within. 24 hours, I get a good news. The baby was about to burn. Oh, and I still God. never get the opportunity to, oh, to, that, to that witness. And that was one of the things that, that hurts me. Yeah. And that was my first child. I, I expected yeah. to be there. To be there. Yeah. Yeah. The first child was born like that. The second child was born like that. Mm-hmm. Until the oh. third and the fourth child. Were there. I witnessed that. And that was a big experience. I see what is, what pain what yeah. mother go through the yeah. labor yeah. Mm-hmm. and i said no i said four four enough <laughs> <laughs> two boys two girls yeah. two boys two girls so yes. when you first met your first child your daughter mm-hmm. yep. tell us about that mm-hmm. you come home yeah the first no, um, all of my all of my um all of my children um their mom have them in hospital yeah mm-hmm. yeah all the four of them but remember, you, you were not there so for the you first one. No, I know, but yeah. I want to know when you first met when you your first, first met child. the child, yes. Seven. When you first held her for the first time, your first, your first daughter. Well, for my first child. So you missed the delivery. You missed the delivery. I, I, I never did witness the first one, the mm-hmm. second one, then the third one, then and you the witness. fourth one. So the first, for the first one, because you wanted to be there so bad. Mm-hmm. When your mom called you, okay, the baby is here, then you got your relief to, to come off work. Mm-hmm. When you got home. Or what to the hospital. Like? Yes, or to the hospital. Well, for me, yeah. when I get that break, the baby has already burned like yeah. was about for six hours. It's still there in the hospital, in the intensive, um, how you call it, please. Uh-huh. Eh? So, I get a break, I catch my boss. I, I would have wished I could have fly in one hour to reach my brother. I was working in Price Barracks that time then, yeah, yeah. and my wife was there as a Western Regional Hospital. I wish I could have fly in one hour to reach there, yeah. because I really want to see so mm. now that when I read by the hospital, I, I started to get uh, like feel jumping nervous <laughs> because I, I know how what a young baby would look like. Yeah. So I read by the hospital, talk to the security, they instruct me to go this way, that way. So when I reach here, see the baby. I tell them out this person I consent. Don't tell me you have to go to this side where they have the babies um, that are already born. Just take forever to get to so this I know little I'm girl. Nervous that when I see my mom there, when I see my sister there, when I when I when I reach, I see my wife on the bed, but I see the baby. So that when I first time I see her, yeah. wow, it's like I don't know. <laughs> I say, is this that really me? <laughs> that's, not, that's first thing came to my mind. Yeah. And then they told me it's a girl, which I already know that yeah. she's a girl. So I say. Oh, give me, just take my baby, the yeah. first hug, the first kiss I give her. And Be that's the good. good feeling for me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, so I took you guys all the way back to that first child, right? <laughs> all right, so while, while we, we took you guys all the way back, and you know, we, we, could, we could actually feel that wonderful mm-hmm. feeling of having that child. Yeah. We'll, we'll, take you, we'll take you back again, because we, we actually have a game coming up. And this game is actually one to reckon with. Well, I know you know good music, man. You, you know good music. Mr. Camaradas, you know good music. So the game coming up is actually, you look at the screen, and you will tell us exactly the name of the song <laughs> that you'll see on here, and who sings it. And who sings it too, right, as well? Well, tell us the name of the song. It's actually a game, a ge- uh, song game. All right, so we, uh, the, the teams are easy. You guys here on this side, that's one team, Mr. Camranes, Mr. Lino, you're a team as well. Are you guys ready? You ready for this, Mr. Lino? All right, you, you look like you're ready. <laughs> so, all right, so let's, let's, get, let this, let's get this one on the road, and uh, it's who gets the, 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 the song first, all right? Okay. So, let's get it on the screen. Can we get it on the screen? And this, is, of course, is the Father's Day special. 
And we, we're, we're so thankful that we have you guys in. Oh, by the way, let me remind you that, man, man, you guys are looking good. Alpha male done hook you up. So, I, you know, you're not able to watch it, my people. <laughs> 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 I do want to let you know, of course. So if you're wondering why we're going to be challenging you to games, mm -hmm. it's because we have some fantastic prizes that yes. we have to give away. We have some great uh, partners who work with us every year, mm -hmm. and uh, they've put together some packages that, trust me, you're going to be happy to take home. The first is a Grace, the first place will include a Grace Kennedy gift basket, mm -hmm. a Traveler's Liquors gift basket, mm -hmm. a certificate for assorted meats from running w mm -hmm. with carnivore forever tasty cakes and pa and pastry cupcakes mm -hmm. and one cooler and gift bag from universal hardware that's Whoa. the first that's place the first. prize for second place if uh, the person who comes second you'll be walking away with a gift basket from grace kennedy uh, you'll be getting yourself some travelers liquors a gift basket from travelers Assorted meats from Running W with Carnivore, uh, Forever Tasty Cakes and Pastry Cup Cakes, and one complete tool set tool kit from Brothers Habet. All right, third place gets to take home the Grace Kennedy gift basket, Traveler's Liquors gift basket, that uh, Running W uh, Running W meats from Carnivore certificate, and let me tell you that includes two T-bone steaks, Ooh. a mix and match of a six pack. Uh, with Bellican regular stout and lighthouse mm. and uh, that's of course to make a perfect Father's Day special Whoa! and fourth place Grace Kennedy again is with you Travelers Liquors gift basket assorted meats from running W forever tasty cup uh, cakes and pastries cupcakes and two round trip tickets to Key Cocker yes for two Mm. Mm -hmm. So again, we want to say a big thank you to our sponsors, Grace Kennedy Blaze Limited, Traveler's Liquors, Forever Tasty Cakes and Pastries, San Pedro Blaze Express, Express, Brother Sabet, Universal Hardware, and Running W Meats with Carnivore. Mm. All so, right, so we're we going to get to our game. Yes. So this is, this is what's at stake. We don't issue the points, we leave them to do it over there, so you yes. can't get mixed with tweets. Yeah, don't right? get mixed with tweets, please. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's easy, it's easy. Just tell us the name of the, you'll hear the lyrics of the song and you tell us who sings the song. All right? Easy, yeah. easy does it. <laughs> you ready? All right, start it off. Let's go. Anybody? Um. Uh, let's get it on, Marvin Gaye. That's All right, right. That's one right. over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> All right. next up. Mm -hmm. Next one. Okay. <laughs> I think you're going to have to sing it and then guess it. Frank Sinatra. And, um, I did it. No, yeah. I'll take my way. Frank Sinatra. You already said it. I did it my, <laughs> my way. way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's true. Right, you guys gotta jump in over <laughs> here, right? So if you hear the song let's come, let's come you. and you know yes. it, just say it, right? All right. Next tune. Let's see if you'll be able to figure out this one. We gotta get it loaded up. So we have two over on that time. Uh-huh. Any guess? I'm gonna love you forever and ever, Randy Travis. <laughs> <laughs> there you, you go. listen to a lot of music. I'm not a music person. You listen to a lot of music. All right. So we got three over there, right? <laughs> Mr. Lino, Miss, Miss, Miss Mari, may she rest in peace. Used to play these selections hard back in the day, man. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe that's why he doesn't want to remember it yeah. anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so do we do one more? Yeah, we have three over this yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. Let's do one more. Come on, man. 
Let's go, Mr. Combrines. You got this. Anyway. Yeah, come on, man. Anybody jump in? Oh my god. Really? This is one time I feel I should have been playing, man, for real. <laughs> feel that beat Michael Jackson. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Michael Jackson. Yeah, but there was Who the gets the name, of the, name of the song first? I'm gonna write it to you, Michael Jackson. No! Close, close, <laughs> close, 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 close. Close. You use one word in the round. Rock with you. I'm gonna rock with you. Okay. All right, we'll okay. get. All right. Okay. We'll do one more. Are so we done? Should we do one more? All right, All right do so one let's more. do one more. Let's do one more. So right now we are at four to zero. All right. <laughs> okay. I mean, really, you have to say it like that. <laughs> 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 Mr. C, come on, man. Mr. Cambranes. Stand by, stand by me. Well, I don't know the name of the person. <laughs> oh, good. All right, I think that's buzzer time. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna close off the game there. I yeah. think it's that it's, one is actually uh, yeah. Ben E King. Yeah. Stand by me. All right, we're gonna take a quick break, and when we come back, uh, we have more of our Father's Day special. So please stay tuned. with our Father's Day recipe here in Grace Flavor oh, with, with a, a Beat, beat. Kitchen. All right, do you dance now? All right, Flavor with a Beat. I understand you're having a moccasin morning, so oh, go yes, ahead and yes, uh, start dancing. Yes. What's in my coffee? <laughs> I won't ask. That's a mac coffee, right? Okay. All right, of course, uh, we are going to be making a special recipe that people can try at home for Father's Day. We have uh, resident chef, Chef Duane. Good morning, good morning, guys. Good I morning. guess you're official sous chef now, Alex? Yeah. Yeah? Promotion. <laughs> Promotion. And we, <laughs> and we have with us representative for Mackison. All right, Arturo. So you, you brought that special dance that uh, Duane is doing. Or yeah. yeah, the moccasin? The, the macalen. Maybe. The, the macalen dance, right? <laughs> All right, let's get cooking, please. All right, so what we have today, mm -hmm. we have this nice piece of uh, T-bone. Uh -huh. Guys, I want you to be very careful of uh, meats and shrimp and cross-contamination. And it's very important. You don't want to get people sick. You don't want mm -hmm. to have a nice day and at the end you get people sick. So just remember what you're doing outside. Mm -hmm. um, pay more attention to it outside. It's very hot right now in yes. Belize. It's extremely hot. So all you have to remember is hot food. Serve hot. Cold food. Serve cold. Meaning that you don't put your salad, your green salad, your potato salad, your potatoes outside. You'll wait for the last minute to take it yeah. out the fridge or, or, yeah. or cook it at time. Timing is very crucial, right? Yeah. And um, talking about timing, um, what we have here this time is a T-bone steak. Mm. I have it here um, washed a little bit. What I did, um, I put some vinegar, mm -hmm. vinegar in here. So I'm just going to add a little bit of vinegar. Mm -hmm. What vinegar does is, uh, if there's... Uh, Cut away the, take away the slimeness from it. Okay. And we also have shrimp. Why shrimp and fork? I'll get back to you, but I'm just going to add a little bit. Vinegar goes a long way, and Grace has a very nice, it's not heavy vinegar. I'll show you how easy that is. It's distilled. It's distilled <laughs> vinegar. And what, what, what is distilled vinegar? <laughs> it, it, the vin it's vinegar better. has, it's Let's better. It's breakdown. It's better. All right? <laughs> so what I have here is T-bone steak. Okay. Look at this. I did it. I did it a half inch stick because of time. Yeah. You know, and I'll teach you how to know when your steak is finished with a simple method we do in the kitchen. What? Um, how are we gonna cook it? We'll cook it well. Yeah. 
But really? like, well done. Well done. Belizean, well like, but, but let me let me um, show you guys something with T-bone steak. Why is the best meat and one of the cheapest cuts? And also why could this turn, will turn into a nice delicacy for you and your family. First, T-bone steaks come from T-bone steak come from the back of the cow. Uh -huh. All the all the back run on the back. We need to turn this on. To Let's get turn on. it on. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's um, fire first. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, coming back to the steak, right? See, there is. With this one piece of T-bone steak, would you believe it that you're getting two pieces of meat? Mm -hmm. There's two pieces of meat, right? Let me show you. This is the famous porterhouse steak. Now the restaurant, people don't want to tell you this, right? When you go to the shop, you get your T-bone, you end up with two nice um, expensive cut of meat. This is the porterhouse and this is a New York strip. You notice people like this lease half a meat out here so better than this one over here. So although this is bigger, all right? So what you could do, what you could do is, I'm just going to cut it out for you and show you, right? We're going to take it right off the bone, right? Remember, it's two pieces of meat you're getting. This is the one you want to use for your fajitas, um, one nice steak dinner, you know? All right? This is a little smaller, all right? But if I, in the restaurant, we order it like maybe two inch thick. Mm -hmm. We order it two inch thick and this is what you get, right? Um, porterhouse, New York strip. Lee tougher, lead thinner, one piece of meat, two piece of steak. All right? All right? So I we, we go to that. I didn't know that. Good. But good. clearly, you'd serve a bigger New York strip than that. Exactly, Thank because you. of time, <laughs> time consuming. Right. It. <laughs> that and, was my biggest right. concern just and now. It's, it's center cut. You go to your butcher and you ask, I want a center cut T bone steak, meaning the center of the cut is mm -hmm. thicker. The, the New York, the New York yeah. is bigger, and the porterhouse is bigger. We love porterhouse. We men, we go crazy for porterhouse. Make daddy proud, right? Give All right, that a good so steak. this is such a great idea for Father's Day because obviously, you know, uh, being right. able to cook meat right? Um, and you're doing both uh, well, shrimp, shrimp and, and steak. steak. Mm -hmm. So now, I'm, I'm just going to um, get this ready for marinade. Yeah. I like, I like pot. I like pot dry. Mm -hmm. I like because I don't want my, um, my meat to be robbed of water and, and thing, right? Uh -huh. So let's work with these two pieces here. I'm mm -hmm. just going to set this up here. We'll come back to marination. All right. Um, the shrimp. Mm -hmm. Remember, you, you you deal with steak or anything. You want to wash your hands. So let me just quick, mm -hmm. quick washy. All right. And shrimp. Again, you notice when I put the vinegar in there, right? You see what happened? Yeah. You see what happened? The white comes up, so it releases the shrimp from its shell. Now, um, a little tip, a quicker way to clean shrimp. You know, if you have in the big restaurants, we have a hundred pound of shrimp. That's like ten boxes of shrimp. Uh, so much mm -hmm. shrimp coming in one box. Anyway, um, take a fork. Mm -hmm. Take a fork. Start from the middle. Shove it all the way down. Shove it and pull it off. And that's this is, it. That's it's clean. It's not only clean. It's divine. It's divine. It's divine yeah. already. All right. So we have some done divine and done clean already. Bop bop bop. Right. Okay. Good. Want to put this away? Um, just clean shrimp, clean hand again. Yeah. Go back. You don't want to grab this so and that. So what you're saying is you don't want to touch the seafood, the seafood and the meat. Right, big, right. shrimp and um, seafood is very, very delicate, right? Okay. Um, very most crustacean seafood. Mm -hmm. Then people have allergies. Okay. The, yes. The shell is Absolutely. very high. Lobster, shrimp, crab, Brown. people. So you want to keep, cook it different, yeah. right? So what I'm going to do? I'm going to a quick marinade. Ah, <laughs> my favorite. Mm -hmm. Right, my favorite. Let me just get this. Uh, Bin right here, clean, mm -hmm. all right? So, come back in here, put your steak in. We want to get that away out the kitchen, all right? Oops. I heard, I heard, I heard, something I, heard, opening I, up heard here. I heard, I heard. Not, it's not I that heard. was your one job? I heard, what did they I heard. <laughs> so I'm gonna season this, guys. Season, marination, marination take place. Soy, Grace has a great soy sauce. This thing is, mm. if you could see the, the, the liquid Thick. stays, yeah. the liquid stays on the glass itself. That's how you could go to a shop and you check your soy sauce. All right, that's good. Any any any, any liquid in the bottle, you want to make sure that it has a head and it stays up top, right? So let's douse this a little bit. All right, look at that, real nice. Easy, mm -hmm. easy, easy. I'm gonna put some, um, my favorite, Grace Fish. And meat sauce. Why? Because we're doing seafood and steak. It's perfect for serving. They think about it already. They yeah. think about it already. And this has all the flavors in there already, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. 
No, no. If you want to use your gloves, go ahead, but um, it makes you get more lazy and you want to go grab everything. So yeah. I'll say the clean, these, these are your best tools in the kitchen. Yeah. Just keep them clean, keep them nice. And, and um, let's get some seasoning in here. Mm -hmm. I want to go with a little onions. Onion powder. I'll do half of this packet, right? Onion, onion brings a nice flavor to it, and, and Grace make this packet thing very easy. Now, I know you're doing the TV version, but how long would you actually leave this to marinate? I would do maybe with, with this secret ingredient right here. Yeah. Um, it goes very, very fast, maybe like uh, about 20, 25 minutes. Oh, okay, so it's not that long. Not, not yeah. long, all right. I'll take that. There <laughs> we go. Half for you and half for me. Is it one you open or two? Okay, so the no, next one is mine. No, you had enough. We okay. yeah. All right. <laughs> the barley, the hops in here, it's mostly like yeast. What yeast yeah. does to bread, it uh, make it suffer. Let's throw the whole thing in, all right? So what you want to do with this, just leave that there and you put this in your fridge. You let it stay in your fridge for like, I say, the li longer, a little better, half an hour, perfect. Okay. You have a nice hot grill, all mm -hmm. right? So we're going to lift this here for a little bit, all right? Let that, let, let that just marinate. It'll do a TV marinade yes, for we'll two do a seconds. TV marinade That's for what it'll do. Seconds, all right? <laughs> and what are we going to do in the meantime? All right. Let's, let's jump on the shrimp. Yeah. All right. Remember, you want to keep it clean. Okay. All right. So the shrimp will be the same thing. Um, we could switch over. The shrimp doesn't take long. Mm -hmm. So in that case, you're right. I could do a little more coconut oil in here. And this is a cast iron this pot, is so a, it's going to be like a grill, right? right? I, there you go, yeah. So Alex, you want to do the shrimp now? Sure. All right, let's do the shrimp, Alex. You're the man. So we could switch switch over. Switch over the How pot. long would the steak take to cook? Okay, it depends on the thickness. Remember yeah. I said, um, I'll get to that part, I'll show you. Real yeah. secret, real yeah. secret thing. So anchor, haha. -ha. Mm -hmm. Butter makes it better, better butter. Yeah. All right? So I like, I like, I like infusing butter. I like infusing butter and coconut oil. It's a cross, but um, coconut oil flavor, butter flavor. This butter, they're salted and there's non salted, right? I'm sure you gave somebody an idea just now for my coconut but, oh, flavored uh, butter. Oh, there you go. Right? <laughs> That's what yeah. you were thinking? So, look at that. What butter does, it has a nice flavor. It's creamy. It's creamy. So, yeah. It's like a sauce. Mm. You're making sauce, so you add butter, all right? And the shrimp doesn't take long. Alex, you want to go ahead and season this up for me? Sure. And we have camaron. Consomme de camaron. Consomme de camaron. All right. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's a pocket for pretty much everything. Every, there's yeah. There is, yes, there is for steak. For meat, for beef, for... Chicken. Yeah. Okay. And then you have your onion My and onions, powder. yes, and yeah. some, and we're gonna do some saute onion, some saute mushroom. Yeah. Remember, mushroom they're uh, they're uh, they're fungus. So um, you want to ask again? Are you allergic? Mm -hmm. If friends coming over, let them know what's on your menu. Yeah. Come out and says okay, try. It. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're having a steak with mushroom and oh, I can eat mushroom. There you go. You understand? Then you're uninvited. Then you're uninvited. More <laughs> mushroom for me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Alex, we could hit that. Wash hands. All right, so that's all melted in yep. together. Good, good guy, washing his hands, getting it ready. All right. That goes right in there, bam. And that will mm -hmm. take absolutely no time No time, to cook. right. Just douse the whole thing in there, Alex. Throw it. We'll step back. When you try, See, to, get, I, when you try to get burned, so you have to take oh. your time and sit in the pot. Improvement. Always room See, you know, it. Alex stepped up to the plate as a chef this time. This means the next time you come, you have to chef as well. Maybe. What would yeah. you make? That's the hard part about it. Why? <laughs> He's only the eating part. <laughs> I mean, it has to include Mackeson, right? If you're the Mackeson rep. Oh, yeah. What, what's happening down there with Mackeson? Any, any, any great... Um... Actually, today we're having our Mac Fridays this uh -huh. Friday, which mm -hmm. is we're going to be selling six packs for $18 and mm -hmm. the case for $65. We also have stock beer, which is a man's beer, since it's Father's Day, so we're gonna be having six packs for $13.50 and the case price is $48 today at Grace Kennedy Compound. So you can take a show there this afternoon. We're gonna be 
from 12 to 6 today. From 12 as in midday today? Yeah. Quad, so you could drink your lunch? <laughs> You could go and drink you your lunch. Take your afternoon <laughs> off, right? Yes. If you gotta go back, there'll be some problems. Yes. Ah, look at those. And you've been doing that for a while, though. You, you yeah, did every it before. two weeks. Yeah. Every fifteenth and ending. Yeah. 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 And, and what's it like? People go out trail. from twelve. Awesome. Actually, <laughs> people don't go and stay there. They would pass, pick up their six pack or their case, and they and they head out. Go around. All so. right. So of course this is one way to be able to pick up your supplies for Father's Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you'll have deals. some cold ones available too. Yeah, we we'll have too. them cold as well. Mm. All right, Alex, I think that's history. That as looks there's good. heat. We'll switch we'll switch frying pans now. Yeah. All right. That smells so good. Yes. Oh. All right, you want to remember you want you don't want to cross. So yeah, we so, so we, we have bread. another one. Yeah. Let's get for another you. tongue. And let's get that hot. Let's get that hot. Let me. We're gonna add some butter in there also. Right? All right. Add some butter right in there. I didn't even notice when you sent when you put in these onions. Yeah, the flavor. This looks great. The flavor of the beet. Mm. Coconut oil and butter, it's so amazing. Yeah. Grace coconut. Um, oh, so you're doing the same thing with the meat? Right. Right, you're you're marinating, marinating them together, yeah. and then married, they will be married in your stomach. <laughs> All right, so what I've got here is some onions, some white onions, some green onions. Mm. You could add uh, different to this. You could add more vegetables to this. Yeah. So that you won't miss the vegetables on the plate when it's ready to serve. That's your veggies mm. in there already, dousing, right? All right, Alex, you're doing good. So we're back on the we're back on the meat. Remember, this is um, half inch. Yeah. Half inch. Let's do this one. And like you said, you could always go to the meat shop and ask, ask for a specific for cut. Cut or, yeah. or in, uh, one inch, one yeah. and a half inch. Restaurant cut, they'll give you two inches. Yeah. All right. Just give me space so I could um let this bad boy just. You gotta uh, yeah, clear get, some. Clear, clear, clear. Yeah. Just move out some so I could put yeah. I love these grill guys. Go out and get one of these leaf frying pan thing. Damn. It's like an outdoor grill that you can just yes. do in your kitchen. Yeah. All right. Remember now we're dealing with um, oh, that texture. Oh, so good. Remember now we're dealing with texture, right? Mm -hmm. Clean hands again. We're dealing with texture. How do you know when your meat is finished? Um, let me show you're you not, this on you're TV. Not with your fist, right? Right. Mar, do, make a fist like that. Yes. Make a fist like that. Okay. So. We come in here. If you feel up here, up here is what? Hard? Kind of hard, yeah. You could try it. Oh, you want me to, to do it? Feel in the middle. Mm -hmm. Soft, like medium rare. Mm -hmm. And way on the end. On the end. And here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Much softer. Yeah. It's a triangle, right? You want to oh, go like I that. Oh, I got you. I right? got you, yeah. Well done. This well one done. Is hard. Like bone. Yeah, well done. This one is like... Medium rare. Yeah, a little bounce. And, and, and that the one edge is, is real soft. Yeah. Right, just remember that. Hard, medium rare, well done. So what you'll do, what you'll yeah. do is, what you time, you flip it over. Okay. And you could do the same thing. What does it feel like on my hand? So give people, I mean, you could you could always approximate it too. So if you're looking at, if somebody goes out and get this half inch cut, mm -hmm. how long on each side? On each Once side? Oh, about eight minutes. I, yeah. I, yeah, I'll give like eight, eight minutes on each side. Okay. 16, right? For Be, a half. For, for a half. half, right, right, all right? Mm -hmm. This is the nicer, tender cut. Yeah. Though, right? Half, half inch. All right? So you want to flip that over for me? And that's I know it's not eight well minutes done. yet. Well done, right? Yeah. Time consuming here. Let's give it another uh, timing. Mm -hmm. Some people, it all depends. Some people like the meat. Rear. We Belizean, we like it well. well Belizean tends to like it well done. Yeah. Well, we know what, what is your preference? Um, medium rare. Okay, and you? Uh, well done. Well done. Well done. All, All right. right so. Well done is um. You know, actually, we're two for two, two in here, for, so I, I'm yeah. medium rare. So I have, we have some yeah. flavors still in the meat, yeah. and you just kill your flavor. That's what we're looking at, right? <laughs> I, I quit judging it a long time ago, but it has <laughs> their own flavor. That's in right. Life, right. That's right. Very important. The little trick here on your hand. That's how we know the difference, right? Yeah. So this would take about eight minutes eight, on each on side. On each side, eight, yeah. yeah. Because remember, when you take this meat off this grill, it is also cooking. Yeah. It's still cooking. Mm -hmm. All right? Hot food hot. It is still cooking. 
All right, Now, Alex? how do you make sure it's well done but not dry? Um, the texture, mm -hmm. it's very hard, the marination process. Okay. The marination process has a lot to do with your texture of mm -hmm. finishing and flavor, okay. right? Some people say the longer I marinate it, the better. Not really if you know if you know your textures and stuff or your flavors and stuff like that. It's very easy. Mm. All right. My favorite. I'm just gonna add a uh, spring of uh, uh, my favorite there, rosemary. Can't go wrong with rosemary and steak, rosemary and pork chops. All right. Now, what would be some good sides to, to add? Oh to this? boy. Um, I see you have some mushrooms there too. There's mushrooms. We're gonna add some mushroom in there. Sides will be. You could do your rice and beans. You could do your pot baked potato. You could do, do like bread rolls. Bread rolls. You you go. You could go off on this. All right. Mushroom, very careful. It's a fungus. We have fungus among us. All right. Mm. These are these are already clean. Mm -hmm. All right. You could go oh, and get. I actually smell the rosemary already. Wow. You got that? Yeah. Perfume, right? Yeah. Perfume. Try it, guys. Get out there and get rosemary. Is it hard to find it? Fresh? It's not very hard. It's 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 here. It's at the market. It's um, dried. You could mm -hmm. have it in dried. I grow my own, fresh. Mm -hmm. and, um, but go there and play with it. Mm -hmm. Try season it. Looking for flavor. All right? Good. Nice. Getting there. I want to go back and add some sauce to it because you're drying out. Uh -huh. You're drying out. So you, you want to refill. So I'm just going to add this, sti this uh, steak sauce. Right. Okay. To that. And come back with my mar see we have more here. We have more marination here. You wanna add. Yeah, you wanna get that maximum. You wanna get that maximum right flavor in there. Alright? No, you want that nice char and grill, but for timing and everything else, we're just gonna um, let that all cook down. Okay. Alright, just give it a couple of minutes. And you could uh, we could start plating. Mm. Alright? So we'll you take, can get yeah. started with your shrimp. Alright. Voila. Put you that right up chef? there. I'm just gonna dump, dump some on there. Oh, wow. I love dumping. Dumping is a new thing, right? Dumping that is a new thing. That looks so good. We have that garlic in and there. We have the that. butter. The butter and like, like the sauce, like yeah. Butter. And you know the thing is, I mean, I don't know. Uh, do you really need a side? You have you the don't, vegetables. I don't think you have meat. You, mean, you have exactly. You have protein. Yeah. You have your vegetables. Um, yeah. Starch. I think mm. if you put a side, you, you won't be, be able to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm, okay, I'm with you. I, I just put like a bread roll. Bread roll, right. So you can right. get that's, some of the sauces that's, afterwards. That's, you don't need to, you want to taste the flavor of these two things coming together, right? All right. And there you have it, something so easy that you can make for Father's Day uh, on Sunday. Right, and, and you got two cuts of meat. So you're getting you're getting away already. Yeah. Play with it. It's a special it's day. You can cook up something special. You yes. don't have to choose between seafood and uh, steak. You can be you can cook both of them. You could cook, yeah, you could turn it into fajitas, strip it down on the, the New York strip or the tenderloin, or mm -hmm. right. And All remember right. too that you can pick up your uh, Mackinson and stag. Once Play again, it starts six at six bucks. Six yeah. packs and cases as well, That's from what? twelve to six today yeah. at Grace Kennedy Compound. What's the discount you're getting if you go in today? The six pack of Mackeson is eighteen dollars. Usually in the store, it's about twenty to twenty-two dollars. Oh, and okay. the stock beer is thirteen dollars and fifty cents for the six pack. In stores, it's probably about fifteen to seventeen dollars. Depends on the store oh, wow. as well. So it's a great Father's Day deal. And uh, you also have it cold, so you can pick it up and take it home and get your Father's Day weekend started as well. Sure. Um, and uh, whether are you are you gonna get Mackeson or Stag? <laughs> Let me ask. Oh, I feel sorry. like I shouldn't ask you that because you started with Mackeson already. <laughs> yeah, what's in my coffee, guys? You wanna know how the show work, right? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know where that flavor comes from? That's right. Dancing. <laughs> that hypeness. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Good. Get out there and try it, guys. Don't be afraid of it. Go meet your butcher. Go tell your butcher, I want center cut. If it's pork chops, go center cut. If it's T-bone, go center cut. You get the best. All right? There you have it. Father's Day surf and turf. We did uh, a Mackeson marinated T-bone steak. And uh, we did some shrimp. I was going to say garlic, but it's actually... Uh, it's just the shrimp seasoning, Come on. coconut oil, and some <laughs> butter. butter. Anchor butter. Anchor butter makes it better. Mm -hmm. Oh man.
And your sous chef Alex is making yeah, sure this yeah, plate this looks plate, perfect. That's right. Mm. What's for breakfast, guys? Come on, tell me. Here, that's a pretty on, hefty tell me. breakfast. Tell me, you can take that off. All right, that's it for us uh, with this week's edition of Grace Flavor with a Beat. Remember, you can pick up uh, your Mackeson and your Stag today at Grace Kennedy. Uh, and that sale starts at 12. And uh, you just had one new recipe you can try, surf and turf, especially for Father's Day. We're gonna go ahead and take a break, and when we come back, we'll be continuing our Father's Day special in just a few, so stay tuned. Beat was brought to you by Grace Canada Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. Sitting in the party, him watching on your body. I'd like to say happy Father's Day in advance to every single father in Belize. Oh, oh, oh. At your shine mm. Him raving in the party Him jamming up in the session Daddy want you wine on him Put your body in position Wine and go down then bring it up back Show him what you got You a tap a tap mommy put in your back From your dress hat Daddy him love all of that Him say come closer and wind up your body on him to the soca The music that is if he come closer And wind up your body on him to the soca The music Him raving in the party Him jamming up in the session This is Tia Shani presenting Yeah, happy belated fellow in advance, Father's Day to every single father in Belize. Ooh, yeah, yeah. One more time for them. Let we go. Daddy said, figure, come closer and wind up your body on him to the soca. The music. Daddy said, figure, come closer, mommy, and wind up your body on him to the soca. The music. Uh -huh. Mmm, yeah. Oh, na 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 na. Ooh, yeah. Happy Father's Day to all my fathers, them. Mmm. Oh, la na 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 na. Mmm. One more time for them again, eh? Mr. Daddy, if you come closer and wind up your body on him to the soca, the music. I said, we come closer and wind up you on mommy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Happy Father's Day to each and every father in Belize. Coming from TR Shine. Boom. Oh, na, 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 na. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Come closer, wine closer on you, wine closer, daddy hold mommy, yeah, go closer, wine on him, go closer, mm, go closer, happy Father's Day, go closer, ooh, go closer, this is the Ashan presenting, ooh, na, 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 yeah. Father's Day in advance. Tomorrow, everybody enjoying yourself, you know. Get your daddy a gift, and y'all can visit Smart and also get the best phone deals them for your dad. 
Fana. performance with Father's Day greeting and gift ideas that's there. Right. Courtesy of TR Shine. TR, thank you, so thank you so much. You Hi. know that's my favorite song, so I'm so happy you yeah. came in yeah. this morning. <laughs> but I know it's Father's Day, but I also don't want to miss the opportunity to say that you have some big news too going on. Yes, yes, yes. Well, yeah. Tell it out. What's the big news? Um, well, um, I've been selected to be in the International Bashman Soka Monarch for Barbados. And, uh, yeah. 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 and uh, we're actually here to seek um, help from our Belizean people yes. mm -hmm. to actually go on the International Bashment Soka website, which is mm -hmm. www.internationalbashmentsoka.com mm -hmm. and cast a vote for TR Shine so that I could end up in the finals. Yes. Mm. All right, so that means I'll be representing Belize in Barbados mm -hmm. for the first time ever. That's right. And, and when is, when is, so when is this so we know exactly, yeah. Uh -huh. when, when is it going to happen? When are you going? When is it going to happen? So we know exactly what to do. Okay, well, you got to vote. First, the, oh, first, the, so first, yeah. the first part is that everyone needs to vote for yeah. me in order so for me to get into the finals. Yeah. Okay. But the, uh, the competition itself, the dates are for the 6th of July. Yeah. All right. So that's when, next month. Yeah. That's next month. Yeah. Well, so we got to say to people too that the deadline is, is the deadline quickly is approaching. Monday. Yeah. Right yeah. here. Monday night, the deadline for the voting ends. Okay. So again, the website www.internationalbashmentsoka.com all right. Okay, I, th I think Bashman they're supposed Soka, to put up the link. Well, okay. we're gonna right. we're gonna actually try to get that on our Facebook page too. Of course, you know we are so proud of you. We've been seeing you doing your work for so long. Thank you very much. And we are all ready to have our soca music exported to Finally. through <laughs> TR Shine. Right. But we gotta do our part as well. That means it's time to rally the troops and get people online Vote. to start yep, voting. That's right, right, guys. Don't forget www.internationalbashmentsocamonarch.com. Or just cool. bashmansoka.com. All right, cool. So we and know now. Find TR Shine and vote for him. Vote for and me. And you can only vote once. So once. you got to get more people to go out and vote. Yes, that's right. All, All right. right. Well, we wish you the best of luck and we'll Thank keep you, on man. pushing. Thank you for Always. coming in. All right. All right. All right. Man, that was good. That was good. Yeah. What a, what, what, a, what a wonderful Father's Day gift. That much we could tell you. But welcome back, like we mentioned, as we continue with our Father's Day special live on 5. We know that time is just why time is flying by fast. Yeah. That was that's yeah. that's quick. So we need to get we need to get right on into things. We've got a trivia game coming up as well, and this one of course is going to be individual. Remember, as much as you're here, nobody leave here empty-handed. That's right. right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna recap the prizes very quickly. So cool. first and second, for everybody walks away with a Grace Kennedy basket, a Traveler's Liquors basket, and you also get the assorted meats from Running W with Carnivore. And I gotta correct that package actually. It's even better. Mm -hmm. You get a pack of T-Bone, a pack Big Bone, a pack Seven Bone Steak, a pack Marinated Beef Fajitas, a pack Seasoned Patties, a pack of Pork Pibil, a pack of Butcher's Select Bacon, a pack of Italian Sausage Hot, a pack of Italian sausage, mild, a pound Ooh. of shrimp, and a pack of snapper fillet. Ooh. That's an estimated value of $115. And I am just, Vernerius is going, yep, it's going to be a good <laughs> weekend. So don't right. worry. Everybody gets one of those. Thanks to our friends of, uh, from Running W Meats. And they do have a store carnivore here in Belize where you can get access to that as well. I love They're the name on of the each store. street. And I mean, I, I want to answer some questions for you guys and collect a little part of the price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't mean, <laughs> uh, can I get a leash from so? All right. <laughs> we also have everybody walking away with forever tasty cakes and pastries and cupcakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, the difference is that the first place winner gets that cooler and gift bag from Universal Hardware. Second gets a complete toolkit from Brother Spat Habet. Third place gets a round trip ticket to San Pedro, and fourth place a round trip ticket to Key Cocker. Whoa! All kinds of things happening. Let's get into. Our Let's game. get into our game. Time is just flying by, just like that. Remember, these points are actually individual points. All right, so there's no team for this. Individual points. Good. All, All right, you so need this to do just answer as as quickly as, quickly as you as know possible. the answer, right? All right. The points, uh, they're, they're being tallied right there in the back. It's not us, please. <laughs> so uh, the question, we ask the question, you, you make the answer. It, they're phrases. They are phrases. Easy, easy, good. Ready, set, let's go. So the first one says here, act the way that the people around you are acting. This phrase might come in handy when you're traveling abroad. 
Notice that people do things differently than you're used to. Leadership. Now, so what we're looking for is a common phrase. It's a common phrase. Say. It's a common phrase. Right? And uh, Steph, gave, Steph gave an example earlier. I don't remember the example, but she, she actually gave an example earlier. Do you have an idea of what it you means? You have an idea? Right? Any idea? So it says, act the way that people act around you. Mm -hmm. Attitude. People say it a lot when they travel. It's a phrase, not one word, but an entire phrase. Should you give a clue? Uh, don't keep your manners at home. Aye. Mm, no. Should we give a clue? Mm, it's like when you travel to Belize, you have to eat rice and beans. Yeah, so that means... On Sunday, yeah. because... When you're going to Belize, you... All right, so the phrase is, all the time, when in Rome, do as do the as Romans, Romans do. do. Right? Oh, all right. Uh, Roman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's the next one. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so here's the next one. Bad things might happen, so be prepared. Why do I want to say it? Mm -hmm. Bad things might happen, so be prepared. It's a freeze. The answer is a freeze. Can I give a clue? Go ahead. Be careful. Hope for. Hope for the best. And everything will take care of the rest. Mm. Aye, man. No, that could be an original quote by that Peter Lacey, yeah. but that's not it. Yeah. So I guess we uh, just we just threw it out. Mean that time is time All right, is doing time's great. up. Hope All for right. the best, but, but prepare, prepare for, for the, the worst. worst. Remember, the answers are phrases. So we're giving you clues right. to those answers. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. So the next one. Don't just wait for good things to happen to you. Work hard to achieve your goals. Sacrifice yourself. Come on! <laughs> Don't just wait for good things to happen to you. Work hard to achieve your goals. Mr. Cambranis. Bad things bad, bad thing that happen to I, I think this one Lee hard. I'm going to yes. give you the first half. God helps. Mm -hmm. Finish the sentence. Finish God the helps. Phrase. And it means don't just wait for good things to happen. Work hard to achieve your, your goals. The phrase starts God helps. God doesn't give us more than we can give. Mm -mm. God. Mm -mm. Come on, five seconds, man. And the answer is God helps those. Who help themselves? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Well, you can't get it when I do Yeah, man. You know, right. you know. This one is easy. All right. So here we go. This the fourth one is. Be clean. God likes that. Cleanliness is next to godliness. There gotcha. you go. One All right. Peter. So we have All one right. meter. Right? All right. So the fifth one says, different people have different ideas about what's value valuable. Different people have different ideas about what's valuable. Mr. Lino, you're the top of your head, I know. Different people have different ideas about what's valuable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let, let, me, let me start it off and who finishes it first? Mm -hmm. One's man one man's trash? It's another man's treasure. <laughs> ah, I'm here. I'm here again. again. All right. All right. So the sixth one says... Things look different than they really are. A restaurant that looks old and small might have amazing food. Don't judge a book by its cover. This one, mm -hmm. <laughs> you actually get it. Yes, you get it, you got it, you got it. The seventh one says, be patient. Eventually something good will happen to you. Be patient. Eventually something good will happen to you. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Mr. Cambrani. Mm. Let's go, Mr. Alino. Mr. Show. Be, I'll tell you again. Be patient. Eventually, good things will happen to you. Good things come to those who wait. Bounce! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. All right. Show. Yeah. Last one. Uh huh. The last one says. Don't lie. Don't lie. Mm hmm. Mm. 
again. <laughs> you know the answer? It says, <laughs> don't lie. It's a phrase. Don't lie. The answer is a phrase. And you hear this every time. When they tell you, no lie, you know, because... The truth shall make you free. Yeah, well, that's a true one too. That, that's would, a true work. One. that <laughs> would work. It's not though. If the one we're looking for starts with honesty. Honesty is the best policy. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Peter, Peter, you took all well, Peter, that was a clear <laughs> win for you in this round. We have one more game coming. Don't worry. Yeah. And that one is really going to put you all that, to the test. That's right. That's right. But of course, today's, today's show is also an opportunity to talk about fatherhood and uh, just your own personal experience and messages and, and lessons you'd like yeah. to share with people. So right? there we go. So let's, uh, you know, especially for the young fathers out there. Ms. Salino, what is your message? the fathers, the fathers so they could eventually become better people. What would you tell me to be a better father? That one, yeah. Mm -hmm. You as younger to your parents, to try to learn something from him yeah. as a father, eh? yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Up to you if you want to take it. Yeah. yeah. What did you tell your sons when they became fathers? Yeah. Son. Yeah, your son? Uh, yeah, you have to be like me, you know. You tell him be a, like uh, you? Yeah, to be a good boy. Uh-huh. I hope you take my advice, son. Yeah. Oh. All right, nice. Say that, everything's all right. I'm going to take it. Yeah. Nice. Do you, do you, let me, before we finish that part, do you raise, and I, you can't answer this one, Peter, because you only have one child. Do you raise your boys differently from your girls? Different. Different how? The girls can, the boys can take it, but not the girls. Why? To a certain circumstance, the guys, what you told your brother, your mm -hmm. son, what you do. You can't tell the child, tell the girls mm -hmm. what you should do. Especially if you get to a certain age. Okay. okay. Yeah. And what about you? So, come around us. Well, much about the girls and boys. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the girls have their own way to play. Or Toys and the boys have different toys to play. So everybody, um, boys, um, uh, different um, uh, way that um, girls, uh, boys can climb up trees and girls are not supposed to. Uh oh! <laughs> I may mean, get in trouble in your house. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, man! But which one? Which one? Which one is easier to deal with? Which the girls or the boys? Yeah. To me, to me, the girls. The girls are easier? I think because the girls have you weaker, true? Mm, maybe. <laughs> yeah, the girls, yeah. Well, for me, um, the girls are, are easier, but they are more expensive. <laughs> they are more expensive. <laughs> because they, they need more, uh, more things for, um, for themselves. Oh. Than the boys and they need more than the money. For the girls, if, if they need to get ready, mm -hmm. they have to start like maybe take one hour to get yeah, ready, but the boys are now <laughs> well, so quick. Well, 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 let's go with me right now. Put them pop, pop, pop. That's what happens in adulthood. Yeah. But the girls now is yeah, <laughs> slow, they move slow. Yeah. And but you know why they're, they're more expensive, right? Yeah. Because you can't tell them no, mm. right? It's hard for you to tell the daughters no. <laughs> I could imagine. Yes. Now, you know, we started off by saying um, quite a number of things, you know, tapping into different <laughs> sides of yourself as a father. Uh, but what has been your best memory as a father with any one of your children? Just one where you were so happy that you are a father in these children's yes. life. One that comes to mind immediately. Well, for me, the best memory would be that the time that I first um, hold my child. Mm. I know when I reflect, like my first child now, my, it's, it's just a daughter that I have, she's 17 years old. Mm -hmm. mm. I know when I watch it 17 years ago, mm -hmm. from a baby, Going, becoming an adolescent, adolescent now, mm -hmm. reaching to a beautiful woman now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I never expected that yeah. it could happen to me. Yeah. But now, to have one, two, three, four, four children that I, I, I'm attending to, that I have to mm -hmm. look after, yeah. take care of them, love them. Yeah. 
And then when you watch in a tomb now, you are at home. One come out to the room there. Good morning, daddy. Next one come out. Good morning, daddy. That yeah. respect that you see from them, that you don't know how it happened, but it so happened to be that way. Yeah. And that is one of the things that gave me more happiness, right? Yeah. Yeah. That gave me the strength. Because I know I will always be open for them to support them. Yeah. yeah. So at my stage going up now with the first child, she's leading the way. And coming to my second child, which is a boy, I expected that same step following her sister. Because in my mind, from, for the four children that I have, I wanted to give them the best opportunity. Because education is very fundamental, it's yeah. very important, especially in these days, whether you have or you don't have, but a father will obviously be there to work hard for them, because in the end, it pays off. It, the, the good that they do might not be for me, but you are better off for themselves, for their family. Yeah. And that is how I feel. Um, yeah. So 17 yeah. going on adulthood. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. Tough time for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm Peter. Um, I, I I think the for for parents in general, no, um, we we the worst thing to do for a child is shelter the child. Mm -hmm. Yes, and say so, oh we live that Belize city, Belize city, the worst place to live, and you know it's dangerous. And I'm like no no no, it's not true. Let's unleash our children to become leaders if we keep them locked up when the when the tough life really hits them they won't know how to react yeah. mm -hmm. how to do, you know you know so um i, I i've never had fear for for belize city. i love belize city. you know humans are humans we, we live in a in a rough time yes but we have to deal with it and but we have to be able to prepare our children and, and as I said unleash them to become men and women. My son is eight but he's being groomed to take over from now. Yeah. yeah. You know I and, and we and you know we have to know what their dreams are, what what, what their um, capabilities are and we have to set the bar high for yeah. them but not only have them living your dream but have them living their own dream yeah. and see the bar for themselves and I think the earlier we allow the child to experience that mm -hmm. and know that then they will become mature even faster you know so and what's been I, your your yeah. best father moment that's hard um, proudest happiest not today that you guys are dressed together just alike right no they don't they, that's not the first time they <laughs> no, do that no, yeah. no, no. um I I don't know, it, 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 it's kind of hard because as I said, um, I guess probably it's a flaw of myself, you know, I don't really relish too much in the moment, I, it, it's a journey, you know, but um, I, I could see when the child is correcting the father, mm -hmm. that, that, that's when I know that what I'm teaching is, is, is it's working, yeah. because you now he sees my flaws and he corrects me, yeah. you know, so that's when I, that, that would be one of, I would say, a, well, a problem. you feel like you're doing something moment. right. Yes. Yeah. And uh, but I tell him that don't only practice it at home. You have to practice it with your peers, because leadership rubs off. Of you course. know, and, and and I see the the, the leadership qualities in him. And, right. and, and Mr. Lino, uh, things that what the, the kids that when I teach them at home, um, they don't want to learn. They don't want to learn this one from outside. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. we try to bring them up to. You see, it's not all of us fathers can start our kids with right to right. Mm -hmm. So they don't want to learn nothing at home, but they learn something from outside. Mm -hmm. And you can well, just manage it. You try to bring it, give it what you want, yeah. give them a little advice. Mm -hmm. So I school my kids like that. Yeah. What's been your, your proudest moment being a father? Yeah, I've been a father to try to teach my kids the right way, mama. Yeah. I show them what is going on, how you start out, how I start out, I would ask you when you start out. Too. Yeah. And when they like graduate from like school, school, what's that like for you? Yeah, that's very good for me and then, no. Yeah. I, appreci I, I appreciate my daughter and my son yeah. when they graduate. Yeah. That was a proud moment. <laughs> good. 
Right of it. What's been the best moment with them so far? Any one of them? Any one of them. Who come first? <laughs> <laughs> Who come first? I'm interested towards one of them. Yeah. Everybody. You have grandbabies? Oh, my grandbaby, I have a lot. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> He's okay. finally rotten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love them any different? Them. Do you I love, love them different? I love them, mommy. More uh, than your kids or? No, depends. Uh -huh. <laughs> depends how the parents treat the kids. Yeah. Oh. So then I have to tell them that is not the way to speak to our child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, that's my son. That's my daughter. Mm -hmm. Leave me alone. Leave me to see what I'm going to say to my kids. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. That is not the way. Grandfather is here to try to help to others. Yes. Yeah. And Carlos, tell me about your your favorite or most proud um, father moment. Um, that I'm satisfied with how my children that grown up, grown up, mm -hmm. they have their own family. They they they're doing the, they're doing what I teach them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What uh, maybe they, they learn more seeing me than what I tell them. Yeah. Who I who I am. Work, um, do things around. They are, when they were small, they usually helped me. The, the boy mm -hmm. was the most that helped me and go around more with me than my daughters. Mm -hmm. uh, know that, that, that he has his family, he has a son. I can see the responsibility and the, the way he trying to teach his son, mm -hmm. the way he, he was taught how to how to be respect you no know, respectful around and, and whatever try to res, be respect your, your um, elders mm -hmm. and and be be um, honest yeah yeah what did you tell him when he had his first child about being a father well um, I told him to be a real father because we have a lot of fake fathers out there. Yeah. <laughs> and your son uh, is, a, is, is a baby right now, but he will be a man. All depends how you teach him right now, mm -hmm. he will perform when he's a man. Mm -hmm. And let's carry this um, trend uh, to, to be the re a real father mm -hmm. and a real man. Yeah. Uh, respect the mother and be a help to, to, her, to her mother mm -hmm. and put all your strength and effort to, to see him uh, grow the, the right way. Oh, okay. A real and father. Yes. That's a respect powerful one the mother. there. Yes. And respect the mother. Yeah, yes. Yes. Those things, those things are very important. You know, you know. I, I want to ask one more question before we close off. Just, um, you know, in Belize, we we always hear people say that fathers aren't celebrated enough, um, and I always argue. Well, we have our Father's Day special every year, I'm right? I'm of the sentiment. Yeah. I'm of the sentiment. That's all right. But I think the fact that we got your your names nominated, that your loved one said, you know, my dad is amazing and my dad needs to come and share his story of how amazing he is, or my brother. Um, I think that it shows that people really do appreciate the roles that you play for your family, but also in wider society. The reason some people get a bad rap is because, well, they haven't been, as, as Mr. Carla said very clearly, mm -hmm. a quote-unquote real father. What would you say to other men who perhaps have dropped the ball, right? It, the time isn't over, they're still alive, they can still mend things, about the importance of taking up the responsibility of being a real dad. I'm sure you see, you probably see it wrong where you live, you see that they're really not involved with the kids, they think that if you just financially provide, that means you're a father. But it takes more than that, right? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of hurdles um, men have to, have to deal with, no? Um, mm -hmm. You know, um, if, you're, if you're not in a marriage situation, mm -hmm. it's very difficult because you, you're separated and yeah. you have to deal with the 
with the temperament and emotions of the of the mother mm -hmm. and you have to overcome that so i feel that you you know one we we they always say it takes a village to raise a child yeah. mm -hmm. and and if um if a woman has a good support system i can say my wife has a good support system and i have to big up my mother in law Miriam banner mr fred banner um, you know, we like we live in a like a community of family members where my child can can nurture, and then you have Kyle and you have Carrie, yeah. and you have a lot of of, of other um, um, kids, no. Mm -hmm. But you know what I see a lot is that you know everybody feels that they're their own island, mm. and because you're your own island, then you know I can we we, we can't. Um, you know, direct your child because it's not my child in, in the correct manner. Mm -hmm. You know, we have even parents who treat their own, their parents that way, oh, you can't tell my, my you know, nothing and, you know, but then still you want to go and drop off your, your um, child, child, that, 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 <laughs> that um, granny and grandpa, but still they, they can't discipline the child, you know? Yeah. So the, the structure isn't there. Mm -hmm. And then when the structure breaks down with the family, then you will see the structure break down with the mother, with the father, and then men not like confrontation. Man and be like, you know what, to hell is this, I gone, I can't deal with the ma. Yes, I love my child, but I have to go. Mm -hmm. And then they become, you know, derelict fathers, if you want to say it in that, that way, because they feel, because they can't have a relationship or, a, or an understanding with the mother, with the mother yeah. then they can't have that with the, with with the, the father. But then you also have the jealous and the abusive fathers, they you know, we feel that, like, okay, they own the, 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 the mother and is a property, and because they can't have the property, they don't want anything to do with the, with the child. So there's a lot of psycho-emotional stuff, a lot of um, things that we need to address mm -hmm. before we start to talk about fathers that are not in the home yeah. and single manners. There's a lot more to it, and yeah. you, you, it, that that yeah. you know is a lot. I feel the blame game needs to stop, though. Women need to stop blaming man. Man needs to stop blaming women because it's the child. It's that the is, child that, 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 that matters. Yeah. And, bef and in a blink of an eye, they will become mothers and fathers yeah. themselves. In a blink of an eye, indeed. Yes. <laughs> like mm -hmm. right so, around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, for me, um, to be being a dad, I think that. For your um, child to be um, more um, disciplined, I think that you have to show them or lead by example to them. It's not just telling your kid, no, do it, or why you do that. But yet, you I think as a you have, an yeah. have to have an explanation yes. to why that you are correcting them. Because in the end, mm -hmm. you don't want them to get out of the way because when you start to discipline your child at home and that discipline applies anywhere they go mm -hmm. from the smallest and going up yeah. and only through that way there, that, that will reflect on the family or where that child, how that child is being raised. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at many times I, I have seen um, children like that, especially when we were born. My mom tried their very best with my dad, teaching us to go that way, really, or you want something, you ask for it, you just don't touch. Or even if you, you see older people, just to say hi or say, yeah. Any, any kind of um, they respect. They teach you, yeah. Maybe the time of the day. Because you will be appreciated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that when you are that type of person, you are you are free to go. Mm -hmm. You are free to um, to move amongst any, you don't matter, the big, small, old, pretty, handsome. That is your reflection. Mm -hmm. That is the way how I see it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very important. Very important. Yeah. So lots of lessons coming out here. Yeah, I'm uh, totally enjoying it. Yeah. You know.
But um, like we mentioned, we've got one final segment to this. We've got one final final thing to do. And this one is worth a lot of points. Peter? Oh, you're ready for the game. Yeah, That's yeah. what you're going to do. No, no, oh! Not looking at my, not trying to look at my. That is fun, yeah. That is good. That is good. And we're ready for some more games? You ready for, are you ready for it? You guys ready? Mr. Lino, you look like you're ready. You're a good dancer, right? Mr. Cambranes, you ready to dance? Um, I'll think about that. All right, because we've got our final game coming up, and this one, what you will have to do, you will. All right, so we'll do it right here. Mm -hmm. We don't. We don't have to move over there. What we'll have to do is that we'll play a song, and the song will uh, tell you about a specific dance. If you know that dance, you come on up and you do your thing, or you actually do what the dance says. All right. And as long as you do that, we give you a point for that. Now, are we ready? We're starting first with Mr. Cho. All right, so Mr. Cho, right. step up. You just, you, just, you just need to come down from the chair. That's it. You, you just do, do it any right movement. Here. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's a specific dance. A specific when you dance. hear the song, you might know the dance. You might know the dance. So if I don't know the song, I just stand up there. You, I guess that's what you I do. I just do a little move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just stand up, sir. I, see, I like your right. spirit. Yeah, 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 man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get that music up. Yeah. Do you normally dance? You normally dance, Mr. Cho? Uh, Vern? Vern? Vern is a dancer and he is able to do this. Yes. Do you normally dance? Vern. You uh, do you normally dance? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 well, okay. listen. I didn't know. <laughs> well, we're going to find out. Yeah, we're going to find out. All right. Too. All right. So, ready, set. You don't know this song? No, but I just want to say. That's how you are dancing? <laughs> <laughs> There's a specific dance that goes with this one. Mm. Uh, John, you have to teach him how to do the butterfly. Man, man. Let's go, John. Man, come on. Let's see it. You really want to see the butterfly? Let's see the All butterfly. Right, see, let me show you how to do the butterfly. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? When you want to do the butterfly, because it, it says, uh -huh. then you have yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, I know. See, <laughs> <laughs> so right. do the arms. <laughs> I listen, I'm glad I'm not scoring this one, because he did the yeah. arm Jump movement, not the leg Jump movement. Jump up chair. Peter, you ready? All right, Peter, you're up next. You know what? You know how I like, rotate it? All right, Mr. so you prefer Mr. Lino first? <laughs> Mr. Lino first? Yeah, Mr. I go and chase sir. All right. So, Mr. Lino, step up. You can do this. You listen to the song when you yeah. hear the lyrics, and if you hear... We'll just do what the song uh, says, all right? All right, with your nice clothes. I like it. Mm -hmm. Alpha male. I know, mm -hmm. alpha male. You guys went to, to get dressed up yesterday at alpha male, right? Uh, you guys went to alpha male, right, yesterday? Yeah, he wasn't. Uh, all right, yeah. okay. But that's, that's, yeah. this is good. This yeah. is good. All right, so let's go. Tune up. I know you know this one. <laughs> That's right. I can do the last year. <laughs> the hips do it. I gotta tell you. <laughs> Woo, we're loving it. Let's twist again. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of his specialty, man. You, you used to dance that song a lot, true? He used to dance. Uh -huh. This man, I'm a dancer, man. I okay, tell you. Peter, right, you're Peter, up let's now. Go. You, you. <laughs> so easy that, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I love I'm that. Not that his son. Your son just, yeah. Your son <laughs> really watch. watch this you walk home? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's All right. get that music up. And. Thank God, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's sad. Let's go, man. <laughs> that's how, that's how Don't forget to do the hip part, too. I want, I want Pepper's Pizza, too, man. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. All right, Mr. Carlos, okay, are you Ron, ready? Are you ready? No, no, no. No, he's not ready for this. He's not ready. You don't want to come down? I can help you over? I never dance. You never, <laughs> ever dance? We must Never, go try ever. our leading. No, 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 Probably no, put no, the song no. and let's see what happens. Put the song and let's see if uh, 
Mr. C would know this one. Hmm. Yeah, let's get this on. Oh, electric boogie. Wee! Yeah, that would be a hard that one. That would be a hard yeah. one. <laughs> All right, but well, we understand. Right, we understand. Carter. We understand. We understand. That was excellent. All right, so we have one more, and this is a wild card, right? This is a wild card. If you know this one, you step up, you dance it. That's some extra points. Let's get it. <laughs> I guess nobody's gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> that really was a wild card. That was a wild card, man. <laughs> I know Pierre knows that song. Yeah, that's, yeah, the, that's, 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 that's the worst part. You to TV represent for the jerk. And you feel for dance up the man. Lord, you don't man. know where I catch me. <laughs> 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 you don't know where I catch me. <laughs> But uh, hey, you're an aspiring politician, right? So you, uh, you show, I'm so sure you're gonna get some more. All right, but that was excellent. Again, we want to say a big thank you to our sponsors. They're gonna gonna they're gonna tally up the scores yeah. at oh. this time so and we'll be able tally. to tell you who mm -hmm. will win what. So. Our sponsors again, Greece Kennedy Belize Limited, Travelers Liquors, Forever Tasty Cakes and Pastries, San Pedro Belize Express Water Taxi, Brother Savet, Universal Hardware, Running W Meats and Carnivore. And of course, this is what you guys will be taking away because nobody walks away empty handed. We know that all of you will be getting assorted meats from Running W. So here we go, the package courtesy carnivore is one pack T bone, one pack big bone, one pack seven bone, seven bone stick. One pack marinated beef fajitas, one pack seasoned um, patties, one pack pork pibil. Ooh, I like that. One, one pack, pack butcher's <laughs> yeah. select bacon, one pack Italian sausage hot, one pack Italian sausage mild, one pound of shrimp, one pack of snapper filet. And of course, uh, that will be picked up from Carnivore, located at 31 Eve Street, where you can get all your Running W pro uh, products and more. They also have a special promotion for Father's Day, so wow. uh, it's perfect, especially if you're on a budget. So it's only $35, and you can get two T-bone steaks and a mix and match of a six-pack with either Bellican Regular, Stout, and Lighthouse. What? Right? $35, and 35 you get your meat and your drinks. And it's a big bone in there? Mm -hmm. What's in it for, for, for the 35 Two T-bone steaks. Two T-bone steaks from 35. Mm. And Chef Dwayne just taught us how to cook it. So that's even oh more better. Oh, my God. All right. So that's the prizes. And here we go. In fourth place mm. is Mr. Cambranes right mm. next to me. Yes. Mr. Cambranes, you'll get that Grace Kennedy basket, the Traveler's Liquors basket, all the meats we just told you about from Running W from Carnivore, mm -hmm. Forever Tasty Cakes and Cupcakes, and two round trip tickets to Key Cocker. Hey, yeah. thank like you. that. All right. I like that for you and the wife. And then, third place. Third <laughs> place is Francis Lino. Woo, and Francis, you'll be walking away with a Grace Canada basket, a Traveler's Liquors basket, assorted meats from Running W with Carnivore. Forever Tasty Cakes and pastry cup, Pastries Cupcakes, and two round trick, trip tickets to San Pedro. Mm. You could go fishing again. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, second place goes to. There you go. You got it? You got it? I'm trying to find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> We're looking at Venerius Chuck. All right, and Venerius, you're walking away with a Grace Kennedy basket. A Traveler's Liquors basket, assorted meats from Running W, Forever Tasty Cakes and uh, Pastries, Cupcakes, and a complete, one complete tool, tool kit from Brothers Havet. Mm. And our winner is... Peter! Lacey and Peter, you walking away with... You want to hold on, Peter? Sure, good. Yes. What do we tell you what this is? <laughs> Buddy, you walking away with a great skin in the basket, a Traveler's Liquors basket, assorted meats from Running W, Forever Tasty Cakes and Pastries Cupcakes, one cooler, 
and gift bag from Universal Hardware, my brother. Mm. Mm. And That's a new car. Boy, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, you're bringing your but own. Like, <laughs> you know what SpongeBob said? Use your imagination. <laughs> All right, and of course, you got to bring your son out here because yeah, he's been up, pull up, pull so up, patiently up. waiting for you the entire time. Check I love that they're matchy, matchy too, matchy, right? Matchy, yeah. yeah, even with the hair, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's his big boy, yeah, yeah, definitely. And of course, we've got the wife of Mr. Cambranis who is in with us as you well. You don't want to come over? Yeah, you can come over, man. Stand yeah. right there next to your husband. And we know that Mr. Cho's daughter is and here as well. And he said, I know, she's outside. You can come inside. Yeah, she she's can come watching inside. right she's from outside. Yeah. Yes, so there we go. That's the wife of Mr. Mm -hmm. Mr. Cambrani. Yeah. Yes. And then Mr. Lino as well. Your, your niece had to go and take care yeah. of business because yeah. education is first. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So we're so, I have to support you because painting our gear. Peace and love. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so and here, here we go. you go. Oh, wow, lovely dress. Lovely dress. So there we go. So the entire family is on here. This is this yeah. is the one about to break your heart and turn 18? Yes. <laughs> oh. um, I, I just want to big up my the father figure in my life, Mr. Michael Reyes, because you know a lot of time we big up other people, but sometimes we don't big up the one yeah. closest to where right time, Mr. Mike. Uh, you know, it's my uncle that, that has been the person that has raised me since I was nice, small, right? Nice, so, nice, nice. Yeah, anybody so, else want to big up their mm -hmm. dads? Anybody, mm -hmm. anybody, anybody, Mr. Chokes? Everybody, anybody? Well, I'll tell you what, why we're here. To your here, children, happy Father's yeah. Day. Anybody special back home in PG? No. Or in Orange Walk? No, in Dangriga. Okay, who's, who's in Dangriga? Rose. Okay, mm -hmm. so Rose, all Rose the best Maria. to you. Okay, that's yeah. nice, that's nice. Well, um, I would want to say a big thanks to Open Your Eyes first and then to all the, um, the fathers that who made it with me um, up here this morning. Um, yeah. It was a good, bright morning and I thank God most of, most of all yeah. that I, I made it yeah. as well with these um, dads that are wrong with me. and. I want to say a uh, happy Father's Day to my dad too in Belmopan and to all the, um, the fathers that are listening and watching uh, Open Your Eyes um, this morning. Yeah. Perfect. Right, thank you. And you, Carlos? I become my, my children and my grandchildren yeah. and all the great fathers, the real fathers. So mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Big them up. All right. Mm -hmm. cool. I'll, 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 I'll love just, to hear you know, that. I know, yeah. throw it out. I, you know, I, I want to say a, a happy Father's Day to my father, figure out my uncle as well, uh, Martin Reyes. May he, may he uh, get well soon. Um, we know Uncle Martin. Uh, my brothers, Elmer, Howard, happy Father's Day. You guys are always good fathers as per usual. Um, Dion, a very pleasant morning and happy Father's Day to you as well. And all my friends who are dads, uh, happy Father's Day, guys. Yeah. All the best. All right, and I, I'll just send out the Father's Day to all fathers across Belize. Mm -hmm. I do want to give a special shout out because there's one thing here I can say. Mm -hmm. Here at Channel 5, we have so many oh, amazing yeah, fathers yeah, involved. We know most of their kids. We've seen most of them grow, that it makes us feel a little bit old, right, George? <laughs> 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 and um, so to all uh, the guys here at Channel 5 especially, we want to give a special greeting um, and that you have a great father day this weekend mm -hmm. i can't forget to say that uh some of you not all of you were dressed by alpha male and we have to say thank you to them because they partner with of us course. of course it's so hard for men to find clothing in yes. belize and Good. they have yes. really filled in um that void and so thank you to alpha male for making sure our gentlemen here look so great mm -hmm. um and thank you to all our sponsors as well all right, all right. so we've got to go Mm -hmm. We've got one final performance, but before we do that, of course, we need to wrap things up. Uh, if you've got any questions, any concerns, you could always drop us a line. Wait, we, we got a that? break. Oh, so we've got a break. So we'll take the break, and when we come back, we've got our wrap-up. Stay tuned. Okay. <laughs>
All right, and welcome back. We are about to leave. Thank you so very much. We wish you all the very best from all of us here at Channel 5 on Open Your Eyes. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy your weekend. If you've got any questions, any concerns, drop us a line on OYE at channel5belize.com. You can also drop me a line at marleni underscore OYE, channel5belize.com. Find us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ and on Instagram at OYE Belize. And remember to tune in on Monday morning. When you open your eyes, when you open your eyes and start the morning, right? <laughs> 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 uh. Got to keep you on your toes. But of course, we're yes, closing we off our show with something special. With positive. We're keeping things positive. Ladies and gentlemen, we end off our show with none other than positive vibes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, man, first and foremost, I'd like to say happy Father's Day to one and all. You know, and before I sing this song, I'd like to mention that, unfortunately, I did not grow up with a dad, but I had to put myself in the place of how my picnic feel about me in order to make this song. So I hope you enjoy this song. The song is entitled, Dad is My Role Model. Ready? Yeah, it's a definitely. Yeah, man. Big up you. You, you, you. All I know. Yeah, man. Happy Father's Day to one and all. I want you to listen to the words very carefully, all right? Listen up. Listen. Daddy, I'm a role model. Fight with all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining. Always put the family first. Oh, daddy, I'm a role model. Fighting all the wars and all the battles I never once complaining uh, Always put the family yeah, listen. The road of life You taught me the road of life And how to survive The road of life Made many sacrifices Taught me wrong from right The road of life When it dark you are me light And the road of life The road of life thank you for the so by me Big up yourself in a dad Listen And a little bit of struggle you can't chew Daddy me thank you for that you read from high school Fight if you have better life like Kung Fu From the bottom of my heart I say thank you Daddy I'm a role model Fighting all the wars and all the battles I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. Oh, daddy, I'm a role model, fighting all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. Cause I work, you are work round the clock, just to make sure food in the pot. First for me foots and clothes for me back. We don't do your part, now that I listen to this. Cause you are my motivation You make sure I got an education Always there with a shoulder to lean on Dad, you're my, you're my superman To me you are the king of the jungle Taught me to be wise and humble With love in abundance You were there from child and childhood Oh, king of the jungle Taught me to be wise and humble With love in abundance You were there from birth and childhood Daddy, I'm a role model, fighting all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. Oh, daddy, I'm a role model, fighting all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. The road of life, you taught me the road of life, and how to survive the road of life. Made many sacrifices on the road, the road of life. When it dark, you are me light. On the road of life, the road of life. Me thank you for day so by me side. On the road of life, that no little bit of struggle you can't do. Daddy, me thank you for graduating from high school. Fighting for a better life like Kung Fu. From the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. All right, Daddy, I'm a role model. Fighting all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. All right, daddy, I'm a role model, fighting all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. Daddy, I'm a role model, fighting all the wars and all the battles. I never once complaining, uh, always put the family first. All right, daddy, I'm a role model. Thank you very much.
Open Your Eyes was brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank, and SMART, bringing people together.